everyone welcome to today's episode of the vlog and since it's Thursday today or midweek that means we are doing a review so if you're new to the channel or you haven't been subscribed for so long anytime we do a midweek episode it's because we are doing a review and today's review we are reviewing some products from our good old friends at Olight so if you've been watching this channel for a while you'll know that we've been doing work with Olight for a number of years and today we have two products that we're going to review we're going to be taking a look at this one here the warrior 3 and also the array 2s two new products or two products that are on the line that we're going to be featuring in anger okay so first of all let's take a look at the warrior 3 so the warrior 3 is a 2300 lumens torch and it has a, a throw of 300 meters. So we'll demonstrate that shortly, but let's take a look and see what you get in the box. So like most things Olight, it comes in a really nice decorative box. And then once we uh, take the lid open, you'll see what's inside. So let's take the cover off. And the actual torch itself comes in this really handy pack, which you can then put in your belt, quite sturdy as well. You're not going to lose the torch. Then the torch itself is of standard old light quality. Now, if you've seen these lights before on my site, you'll know that they are really robust. You can throw them around, chuck them around. In fact, I only use old light lights in my garage because they are so good. Now, the um, has a long life battery, and the battery on here, I think it's a 5200 milliamp battery. Let's just take a quick look here. A 50 a 5000 milliamp battery at 3.6 volts now these batteries do last quite for some time like i said the ones that i've got are two years old and they still go strong in terms of the life cycle or how long the battery lasts in between charges and like most old lights on the warrior 3 you've got the button here to turn the light on um, but it also has the maximum flow if you press it twice you get that maximum blast as well. You can also turn on the lights on the bottom here, so I can press that to get a normal beam or press it twice and get a really powerful beam as well. Now one of the things that I do like, not sure if you can see that, you've got the battery indicator, so whenever you turn the light on there, you can see how charged it is. And then on this side here, you've got the current light setting. So if I press that once, you'll see that we've got the first setting, if I press it again, We've got our maximum setting and I can just cycle through those and get more lights or we'll basically get more different settings if I can get that right. So it's a really um, well constructed torch that you can use and of course you've got the little grip, grip here to put onto your belt. Looking inside the box again you get your charger as well which is a USB charger and the charging um, is universal the way that they actual, actually work. So essentially what happens is it's a magnet and it will basically go on and charge like that. Put it into a USB charger, the light will show red when it's charging and will turn green when it's finished. So um, really simplistic way of charging. I have these, I've got a couple of these around the house because they, pretty much supply the same for most of their torches although I think this one draws two milliamps as well actually one amp as well now to change the light mode you literally just hold the button and then it will cycle through the different light modes so if I press that button there you'll see it cycle through and then you'll see which one that you want to set and prefer and if you want that full blown you just double click on it and then you get that full blown light, which is great. And the other thing that they have is an SOS mode. So if you press this button three times rapidly, you can alert somebody if you're in trouble. Really good feature, I like that. If I can do it again. There you go. Now, the second light for me, the Array S or 2S, is a bit of a game changer in light for me. Let's take a look inside and I'll explain to you why that is because the other lights are really good and I always, like I said, I use them in my garage. 
But this light is different in the sense that this is a head torch light. Now, in the box you get the instructions, you also get a USB charging cable, um, and then you get the actual torch itself. Now it is a head torch, like I said, but this is where it's a little bit game changing because obviously you've got this battery pack and the batteries on this thing last about four hours if you use it in standard mode and it has various different small settings. So you press it once and you get your normal head torch, press it twice, and then you'll get your side torch mode three times the red light. The red light, I'm not sure what you use the red light for, but I believe it's hunting. Don't know, maybe someone can tell me out there. Uh, and then you press it again and you go to your other light. Now I have a number of head torches that I've used in the past. Now where this one is different is that it has this sensor at the front here that you can use to turn on or activate different beams. So we've got our main beam on here now, which is low. Now if I want to increase the intensity of that, I just swipe up and it gets brighter. And, it get, and there's about three different levels there that you can see. Now if I want to get it lower, I just swipe down and swipe down again and it goes lower still. This floodlight here, if I want to turn that on, I just swipe to the side like that, that turns it on, swipe back. Slowly, he says, and it should turn off, there you go. And that is great, because if you're under the car and you need to have more light, you know that all you have to do is swipe and then you get more light and swipe down if you need to get less light. So that's a good feature. Of course, you can just use the buttons as well, which does exactly the same thing, but often if you've got the you know, spanner in your hand, <laughs> then swiping is an easier option. So that's a fantastic uh, feature that I really liked about this, and I will be using this uh, more frequently when I do anything under the car or under the engine bay where I need more light. Now the Warrior 3, not only is it a tough torch, it's also waterproof as well. So um, you can get it wet, you can drop it in a puddle. Um, don't Make sure the puddle's not too deep or you'll lose it, but you can obviously uh, pull it out and it will carry on working like a lot of the Olight range of torches. Um, so if you're interested in the Array S2 or the Warrior 3, click on the link down below and that will take you to the website and you will get a nice little discount as well. So uh, they are, these are on offer at the moment um, from the 25th, so that's from today, uh, and you can benefit from those discount offers. So um, hope you've enjoyed that and I want to thank uh, All Light for continually supporting this channel by sending these wonderful torches and I really mean that. They are really good and you'll probably see me using them as well. So um, we will continue to use their uh, systems because they are very good. So thank you for this. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, click on the link down below and uh, don't forget to press that bell notification button so you're notified whenever we release a new video. We'll see you in the next one.